Hello everyone, welcome to Collaboration Coach. Today I've got three productivity tips for you for using Microsoft Planner that will help you stay productive. And just in case you didn't know, I'm posting videos a couple of times a week at the moment. So if you don't wanna miss anything, then please hit subscribe. All right, so let's get started on the three tips for Microsoft Planner. First of all, I'm gonna show you grouping by progress and the way you can quickly change the status of your task. Then I'm going to look at checklists, which is a way of dividing up the task into different subtasks. And then I'm going to look at comments, which is a way of recording information and saving it to the task. So first of all, grouping by progress. So this tip is just for closing down tasks really quickly. Updating tasks in Plan is really simple. There are basically just three states that a task can be in. Not started, in progress and completed. So here I am in Planner in the browser, and the first thing I want to show you is how to change the status of a task to complete. The quickest way to do that is to find your task. So I've got my task lists in buckets here. And if you find a task, you just choose the checkbox here that says complete task, and it completes the task. Now, if you want to change the progress to something else, you actually have to open up the task and go in and change the progress here. So it takes a little while longer, it's a few more clicks. So on the Planner app and on mobile, you don't have that complete checkbox. You have to actually go into the task itself and change the progress by choosing complete. So it's a few more touches. So to speed up that process, what you can do is group by progress. So if I come up to the icon at the top right hand corner, I can do a sort by and right now I've got it sorted by bucket and I can sort by progress. You can see at the top now I'm sorted by not started, in progress and completed. And so if I wanted to change the status of a task to completed, all I have to do is touch it and drag it into the completed list. And now it closes that task down for me. So back in the browser, the same thing applies. If I come up to the right hand corner and choose group by and then progress, you'll notice that now I've just got three lists, not started, progress and completed. And I can drag out of not started into completed to close down the task. And if you make a mistake or you want to change the status again, you can drag a completed task out of completed list and chuck it into progress or not started again as well. The next tip is checklists. So checklists are really handy. They're easy to add and every task can have them. When you go into your task, you'll notice that you've got the checklist down here and I've already created one. So basically it's a way of dividing up the tasks within a task. So if you've got lots of things you need to do to complete the task, and it's particularly useful if you've got two people working on the same task. So here I've got an example of, I'm creating a new video and I've written four tasks in, write, record, edit, and publish. So as these subtasks, if you like, are completed, you can tick them off and you can add new ones if you want. And you can also show them on the card. So if I tick the show on card box, go back to the in progress view and you can now see that my tasks are there to be completed. So I can actually tick them off without opening the task at all. And that's also available on the mobile app. So you can see here, I've got my task and I can just check the published task and complete it. And then I can also go in and I can edit the, the tasks here as well. So I can see which ones have been completed, which ones uh, haven't. I can close them, I can delete them and I can add new ones. So the final tip and the comments is just really the history of a task and it's a message that you leave manually to inform people and, and remind yourself about things. So when you go into a task, you see right at the bottom here, we've got a list of all the comments that have been made. So things like ready for review, artwork added. So just logging what you did. So say you came to do one of your tasks, say review. When you finish your review, you could write a, a comment that says, you'd okay. 
And that's really handy when you're working on a task with someone else. You can see this task is assigned to two people. So between those two people, you might want to leave each other messages. So you just type your comment, you hit send, and then that goes into the list there. All right, so there you have it. They're my three productivity tips for Microsoft Planner. Grouping by progress, checklists, and comments. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.